Hello, it's the Dazzling One. You wonder how I got this awesome look that I'm rocking right now? Well, stay tuned. You're about to find out how I created this fabulous wild wink of pink warm color. So let's get started. So as you heard, we are going to be doing our warm pink look today. So let me just tell you everything that I've done up to this point. Of course, cleansing my skin with my TimeWise 3D Miracle Set. Then I uh, put on my foundation primer all over my face. My concealer to cover up any blemishes or imperfections. And then I use my foundation, my um, matte, 3D foundation in warm, which is our W130. And I used the concealer on my eyelids and I followed it up with my um, eye primer. I put um, mint powder all over my face just to kind of set everything in place. And I have my brows with um, the uh, black brown precision eye pencil and brunette uh, volumizing brow tint and now oh and I did want wineberry as my cheek color I want the focus of the video to mainly be about the eyeshadow the warm palette so the colors will appear on the screen and remember from my last video one two three and four one being the lightest four being the darkest of the color in the quad I'm going to, um, here, are the pal here are the colors, I use finishing spray to set my colors. I'm going to put the color, uh, apply the color to the brush and then I'm going to um, spray it with a little finishing, finishing spray to get the colors to be even more bold. And it, it does help it last even longer too. So if you're like, you have an event where you an all-day event and you want to just have the best coverage you can you want to use finishing spray through all your steps and even your not just your eyeshadow but your face in general and then when you've completely done your whole look spray your face with your finishing spray to really set, set everything the best possible way so first color I'm going to start with is going to be the lightest color and that'll be number one one you never want to spray your brush before you get the color. You want to pick up your color first and then spray your brush because you don't want to create uh, like a dry pan where you have like little flecks of dried either water or finishing spray in your pat in your palette. To know a little bit more about that you want to check out my video on rooms and different things. So like I said I'm starting with my lightest color which is here. Okay. It's more of a peachy pink in my opinion. So I'm gonna really get a lot on there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my finishing spray and I'm just gonna spray it just, uh, okay. I'm going to apply it to um, just my lower eyelid here, just this part here. That is such a pretty color. I'm gonna have to do, you really wanna kind of maybe have an old cloth. I have like old, like I bought some towels that are, you know, like from the Dollar Tree or whatever, where I, that I can just kind of, I wash them and I use them to kind of dust my brushes off between uses and, and things like that. I hide the brush now, again, by just really wiping it down with my little cloth that I, told you about and I'm gonna pick up more of that same color back in with my finishing spray it's gonna go just up to where my crease is not going over it pick up the next color in the palette I'm gonna put kind of on the lower outer corner not all the way up but just the lower outer corner of my eye in with the spray 
Notice I'm only spraying the one side because I want the other side to just be dry in a sense. Now this color I'm just adding just right here. And I'm kind of going in just to almost the middle, but not quite. Now I'm going to take the third color, take the third color, and I'm going to use my eyes, my domed eye smudger brush, more like a purpley-ish burgundy. <laughs> I wish they had names because I got to kind of come up with my own names. I'm going to start without spraying it first just to see how I like it, how it looks. Now I'm going up from the bottom to the to like right above where I stopped with the other one. Spray it if you want it even bold, more bold but I, d I don't want the third color to be as bold. Again, I'm starting at the bottom and I'm kind of going up. That way the bulk of the color will be here instead of here. If I were to start here and go down, it would be the, the bulk of the color would be here. Just slightly higher, not a lot, just a little bit because I want now you could stop if you felt comfortable with your eyes right at this point. But I'm going to put the fourth color in. I'll really wipe my brush off. And I'm going to use the same brush to put the, the, the darkest color on. For color four. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to kind of go just here. Really on that outer corner. Go, coming out here just a bit. These colors are so fun to play around with. They're so much fun. They're so beautiful. Okay. So those are all four colors without being blended. I'm gonna blend it with our fabulous new blending brush. You know, I just love blending so much easier if you don't feel like you're very skilled with it. So then I'm just kind of lightly going over just where the lines are. And I think I said it in the other video in the cool pinks. The cool thing about quads or any sort of a palette that a certain color has been put together for you, um, a certain look has been put together for you, it is easy to follow. It's an easy thing to follow because those colors you already know. You don't have to go, oh, is this the right color? Does this go with this? Pretty much any color can go together if you blend them but you, you can feel confident knowing that those colors were selected to work together and you're gonna get the best um, look out of it because they were put together and you don't have, it just takes the guesswork out of it. So now what I'm gonna do is I have my eyes, my eyeshadow done. I'm going to use my waterproof black um, eyeliner pencil or eyeliner pen, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I love this because it's super easy to use. And once it dries, it stays, literally stays in place until you take it off, which is good. I always go out a little bit because I kind of like a little bit of a, a cat eye. But you can um, just stop right at where your eye, your eye lid like ends at if that's where you feel more comfortable. And then I'll even go down below and just kind of just add a little bit. 
There's one more thing I'm going to do with the shadow once I am um, done the liner. And I was going to do one other little thing I didn't do with the shadow before. I'm going to take an eye smudger brush and um, it's, I'm just going to kind of let that dry underneath just a little bit. And I'm going to take that domed eye shadow brush and I'm going to take that deep, dark, very number four color and I am just going to just smudge a little under my eye line. Eye. And by put, kind of smudging it in where I put the black liquid liner, it kind of um, just gives it a little more definition too. So it'll stand out even more. Now to finish my eyes, I'm going to use my Ultimate Mascara in black. And um, it's a good mascara. I mean, I love all of them. But they're just, when, like based on what you want to do, certain ones just, just give you what you're looking for. And remember, you could always cocktail up with two. You could use two and cocktail it, you know, and have two different, you know, get the benefits of two different mascaras, which is awesome, too. You guys know last summer I was totally fan Arama mascara. I was totally loving that. I still do. But I guess I just kind of go back and forth between you know different ones you know and and that's the cool thing you can switch and swap and change and you know whatever you're feeling go for it you know it just you know you know what you want and if you're not sure play around with a couple of different ones and find out you know I want my lashes to be more defined I want my lashes to be you know more I want more volume you know I cry a lot I need waterproof you know so just figure out what works best for you and go with it. Okay, so here are my eyes. And I'm just going to end the video with a bit of our new lip gloss in the Hopeful Pink. Because I feel like my eyes are really bold and I just wanted my lips to be just a little softer. So we're going to put our lip gloss on. You could put any of the lip glosses um, over your favorite lipstick if you like. You want to just change it up a little bit. That's the completed look. And this was our warm palette. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and oh, don't forget to click the notification button so you're the first to know when I upload a fabulous video and you'll always be connected. So I hope you have an awesome and amazing day. Bye-bye.